Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Growing Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to do the teardown of a Lycoming 0360 A4K engine from a Grumman Tiger right after it had an in flight engine failure. Basically, through a connecting rod, went through the side of the case. Was not a good day for everybody, but the airplane was safely put down. And here we began the teardown process of looking at what all happened to the engine. So stay tuned as we look inside this bit of fun. So we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So as you can see, just beginning to take the process of take the cowling off the airplane, you can see where all the oil flowed after the uh, connecting rod went through the side of the case and everything spilled out. Um, no fire, uh, just a puff of smoke when it hit the exhaust, but everything cooled off fairly quickly. And on the outside of the aircraft, of the engine, um, case you really didn't see that much damage other than this piece missing out down here and this hole in the other side um, other than that not a whole lot of damage but it rendered almost everything that we had unusable from a standpoint of an overhaul and here's another picture of that hole in the side of the case below the uh, this is where the um, connecting rod went through the bottom of the case and it just punched all the way through it and it broke out a couple of bits and so we took a lot of time to take pictures of all the uh, damage to the engine as well as collect all the bits and pieces to kind of see what we might be missing and as you can see it does tend to make things kind of messy and a little bit of oil oil everywhere that you're going to have to clean up but really not that much of a problem uh, again on this engine with all the brakes and the cracks and the accessory case as well as the crankshaft having a burned bearing the cam being worn out and with the metal thrown through the engine um, there wasn't anything of this engine that we could reuse it was a complete write-off so we had no parts available at all and here you can see where it hit the tappet body and broke it and again another shot of the oil as it flowed out of the engine and out into the slipstream of the aircraft when the uh, connecting rod went through the side of the case and six quarts of hot black oil were dumped out onto the um, inside of the cowling and then here you go here's a picture of that break again up at the front of the engine uh, right behind the starter mount where it broke from the stress of the prop stopping and the connecting rod jamming inside the engine case so it stopped fairly quickly but let's cover some of the details on the engine it was a 2107 hour engine when it came apart in 2006 it had a top overhaul in 2000 and it had been originally overhauled in 91 uh, it had raced for a while in the airplane but at 1700 hours uh, the engine had been stopped racing and had gone to normal maintenance this engine was only equipped with an oil screen but it routinely got an oil screen change and oil every 25 hours its entire 2107 hour life now here are a few of the bits and we put a ruler by them so you can kind of get a feel for the size of the parts that were ejected from this engine now these are the ones that we found inside the engine case and in a minute we're going to be showing you some stuff from the inside where some of these bits and pieces were slammed with velocity into the aluminum and sometimes they were driven in through mechanical force but um, there were some pieces that were discovered we also took the time the remaining oil and the filter were drained and the oil residue was screened through a coffee filter and we collected all the particles to kind of see just how much particulate matter did we get from that it did make for a very nice and shiny um, coffee filter i mean it looks kind of pretty when you but when you stop to think that's a 25,000 engine dust sitting there maybe it's not so pretty after all and then as we were talking about we had bits and pieces that came off the connecting rod that were just literally embedded in the side of the case um, between that and the holes the case was going to be unusable from that standpoint we did burn the bearing on cylinder number two for some other reason the bearing slipped block the oil passage and then once that happens in an engine you're not going to keep oil pressure and you're going to lose it here's the broken tappet body up at the top by the uh, camshaft uh, rod that runs through uh, just broke off the bits and i think we found one of them uh, other pieces and then this is on the bottom of the cylinder base where the broken connecting rod just beat the heck as it made its two or three revolutions to come to a stop and then here's another shot of the burned bearing looking through the engine from the other side um, it looks like molten lead or something you would see on the moon and then what's missing in that gap where the yellow is is the hole from the inside of the engine case now looking out the one that we saw earlier broken so again not a fun event to be flying 
but it did beat the heck out of the engine. Here you can see some more embedded parts from another angle all inside the engine. And so the nice thing about this was with this engine was a throwaway. Obviously, you're not going to ever want to reuse a worn cam, and it's not worthwhile to send them off and have them reground because they're not going to be rehardened. And by the time you do all that, you might as well just buy a new one. You can see some from the varnish on this cam and some of the wear spots that this cam had just started um, some of its cam, uh, cam spalling. And then here's a case, a hole in the case at the top of the case where the tappet body wanted to break out and it just shattered the uh, aluminum casting right there. Here's a through bolt that we did not remove to give it some perspective and you can see some more of the debris embedded inside the engine case. Now here's the burned bearing after it's been cleaned and allowed to dry and again it kind of gets that molten lava look. It can't be ground down because by the time it gets smooth again it would be way below tolerance and this was a M0 crankshaft when it had gone back in so there's no wear to it and here you can look at the number two journal compared to the other ones and then here's up at the top where the connecting rod goes through and you can see where the piston rod and all connects and it just beat it and broke it into little bits so ladies and gentlemen we hope you found that look into an engine that came apart in flight and stayed on the airplane uh, useful and informative thanks for watching and have a great day flying your grumman You know, forget buying expensive toys for your kittens and cats. Um, we find that just taking the aircraft spruce box and the paper on the tile floor is more than enough amusement for them for hours.